and online wsgw.com. A mostly sunny good morning to you. I hope your day is going well for you, wherever you might be. We're having a pretty good day out here. Temperatures continuing to work their way up over the next couple of days. We're going to see temperatures move up into and around that 60 degree mark. And very possibly, well, I don't think so much tomorrow, but probably on Thursday, we'll be at record high levels uh, for this time of the year. We'll talk about that a little bit more in just a moment. Incidentally, the record high on this date is 62, and that was set uh, six years ago, 2015. Uh, Incidentally, the record low is 10 below zero. That was set back in 1904, so... um, Thank goodness that one's going to last for another year. 39 degrees at the airport, 39 at Radio Center, 40 over in Midland, 40 degrees in downtown Bay City as well. We have an east breeze at 5, 84% is our humidity, 30.51 and steady is the barometric pressure. We have a high pressure system over Lake Superior. That's the reason why the barometer is the way it is. That high is eventually going to be moving off to the east over the next couple of days, and it is going to allow a low, uh, a couple of low pressure systems really in uh, the uh, southern part of the uh, continental United States to work their way up through the central part of the United States and eventually take a pathway more than likely uh, through the northwest corner of uh, Wisconsin. So we'll be close enough to get uh, some precipitation out of it. Not that close, though, to get the real strong, gusty winds. Now, we are anticipating winds to pick up more than likely during the day on Thursday. I think at this stage of the game, it'll be out of the southwest. uh, 30, 35 miles per hour is probably what we're looking at. There might be a 40 or a 45 mile per hour gust, but that's going to be about it. Again, nothing like we saw this last weekend, but it will be strong, gusty winds at times out of the uh, southwest. We have that east and southeast breeze because of the high pressure system with this clockwise circulation of air, which is uh, pulling the uh, breeze from the east and eventually will be out of the southeast as we go through the uh, evening hours tonight and then more southerly as we go through the day tomorrow. Very pleasant overnight for all intents and purposes. Pleasant temperatures, no wind. It didn't feel uh, as cold as what it was on the thermometer. We should be at this stage of the game 24 at night and 35 during the day. So uh, once again, we're running above average. By the time we're all done today, we'll be at 46 degrees. And we're not really going to drop down much off of that high temperature. Matter of fact, uh, I'm looking for a low tonight of right around 45, maybe 44. And that'll be right about midnight. And then the temperature is going to climb as we go through the day tomorrow. Wouldn't be a bit surprised if we hit about 58 degrees for a high tomorrow. A lot of clouds. There is going to be a chance of a spotty sprinkle or two before sunrise tomorrow morning. And then as we go through the day tomorrow, we're not looking at any type of precipitation pattern. Again, like we saw last weekend, we'll have a spotty shower here and there. And that's pretty much going to be it. On um, tomorrow night, we're going to see the temperature get pretty close to 60 degrees just before midnight. And then more than likely after midnight, it'll work its way up to about 61 or 62. And then by sunrise, we're going to see that temperature dropping as we go through the day on Thursday. And then uh, by Thursday afternoon, cold front will be zipping through. That's the reason why we'll see the winds uh, pick up a little bit as we go through the day on Thursday. Thursday night will drop down to right around 30 degrees. Now on Friday... It'll be partly cloudy, and then clouds will move in. We'll get up to right around 40. There will be some snow showers on Friday night, a low of about 32. The chances of snow shower activity will continue into Saturday morning, but then taper off, and we'll have some clearing 
as we go through the day on Saturday. Saturday night after a high of about uh, 35, 36, it'll drop down to 25. And then on Sunday, partly cloudy skies, 35 for a high, 25 for a low. Then on Monday, a few more clouds, upper 30s for a high. And there will be a chance of some snow shower, snow flurry activity as we move into Tuesday. Long range outlook to take us all the way through the 27th of the month. Temperatures should be a lot closer to normal for this time of the year. Precipitation pattern is going to pick up a little bit once we approach Christmas weekend. So we'll keep our eye on that. Sun will set this evening at 5 o'clock, rise to our morning at 8.03. Incidentally, the record amount of snowfall on this date was set back in 2013. We had just under four inches of snow. That was a record for this date. A year ago, our high was 33. Our low was 22. More on the weather as we go through the broadcast. We're going to touch base with Rick Hollister over at the Andersons and find out what's going on with him in a moment. But before we do that, we want to remind you, the weather forecast brought to you by the folks at Nutrient Ag Solutions. Nutrient Ag Solutions has the local expertise to recommend the corn, soybean, and other seed products that are the best fit for your field. Plus, unparalleled agronomic support with products and services to unlock yield potential and improve crop performance from planting to harvest. Ask about our financing options to help you get more from every acre and lead the field. Visit your local Nutrient Ag Solutions branch or go to NutrientAgSolutions.com. Say, do you want to unlock the secret to higher yields? If you're applying dry fertilizer, the key to better yield potential is Titan XC. Titan XC is a fertilizer biocatalyst that unlocks and releases the bound up nutrients in granular fertilizer, promoting better root uptake and plant growth, drive performance this season and beyond. Release more nutrition, expect better results with Titan XC. For more information, visit lpi.ag slash unlock or contact your Nutrient Ag Solutions crop consultant today. If you want help uh, better managing the risks that come with farming, now you can measure a little bit of security with multi peril crop insurance from NAU Country Insurance Company and the Wiki Crop Insurance. Kyle at Wiki Crop can show you that NAU country protection is just right for you and your farm. He'll pick out a plan for you. Protection that means farming less risky and make sure that you can recover from a devastating crop loss. Ensure your success by insuring your farm with a multi peril crop insurance policy from NAU country. Visit wikicrop.com or give Kyle a call 989-284-9975 for more information. We say good morning to Rick Hollister. Rick, what's going on on the board today? Good morning, Terry. Uh, we're getting some recovery in the uh, corn and soybean markets, at least today. Um, on the plus side, um, corn's getting back. We were, we were down five yesterday, back up six today. Beans down 23 yesterday, back up uh, 18 to 20 cents at the moment today. So, uh, just laying out in a real choppy sideways trade here. We just been on the defensive. Uh, we we hear uh, continue to hear news that uh, some of the folks we'd like to sell wheat to or export to or continue to uh, purchase wheat from the Ukraine and from uh, Russia. So um, a little bit on the defensive there in the wheat market today. But overall, our grain markets just continue to chop sideways and fall into this holiday mode. Um, good weather in South America so far to get their crops planted and up and going, you know, a little dry in spots, a little too much rain in spots, but overall good. Same for European winter wheat, uh, Terry, that looks like they're, you know, off to a decent start. It's been a little, little cool in France. Their wheat is slow to, slow to get established, uh, similar to here, um, a little bit late planted, but overall, um, they're optimistic. So, you know, just not a lot of news, not a lot of export news. We don't hear from our friends over in China that uh, that they're, you know, after a bunch of our crops. So the uh, market just kind of lays out here into holiday mode, chopping sideways at the moment. So right now on the board, what do you have? Yeah, at Hemlock for uh, December delivery corn, we are at 538. Uh, new crop for next fall at 495. Uh, December delivery soybeans at 1203. Uh, new crop delivery at 11.87, old crop red wheat at 7.25, and new crop red at 7.37. Uh, 
old crop white wheat at 725. New crop white wheat for next summer delivery at 742. Rick, you have a good one. We'll talk to you again. All righty, thanks. You bet. Rick Hollister over at the Andersons. More as far as what the market is doing. Doug Klein from Oppenheimer joining us. The market report brought to you by Hudson. Toy tractors make great gifts. Hudson John Deere is stocked with toys at 10% off. Combines, excavators, ride-on gators, and John Deere hats, clothing, and signs. From Crump to Charlotte, Lake City to Tecumseh, visit Hudson for 10% off John Deere gifts until Thursday, December the 23rd. And by the folks at Foster Blue Water Oil, they want you to take your diesel to another level. You will get more power, cleaner injectors, faster cold starts, maximum lubricity, year-round protection, and up to 8% improved fuel economy with Diesel Guard Supreme Plus from Valve Tech Petroleum, available at Foster Blue Water Oil. For more information, contact your Foster rep or go to fosterbluewateroil.com. Doug, what's shaking? Well, 9.6% rise in the producer price index year over year. That's the highest ever, ever, okay? Well, That's wholesale inflation. Corporations are going to turn around and they're going to double that and give it to the retail side. So we got some we got some trouble here in River City. Uh, the Fed is meeting today. I think maybe it's a two day meeting. They're going to talk about reducing the the amount of money they're printing, the free money. They're going to talk about raising interest rates maybe as soon as six months from now. Um, eliminating some of that liquidity that's out there to try to slow this inflation thing down. Meanwhile, the dollar trickles higher, so that's going to put pressure on things that that uh, we want to export. So there's trouble there. And precious metals kind of getting hit, continuing to go down. So they're one of the biggest losers today. Silver's almost down 2% today. Uh, and the energy prices on the bright side are down 1% to 1.5% today. So anyway, here's your numbers. The March corn is 530, up five cents. Uh, December 22 corn is 545, that's up two and a half. The January soybeans 1259 and three quarters, up 15 and three quarters. March soybeans 1264 and three quarters, up 14 cents. The uh, March wheat is 786 and a quarter, still down two and a half. And December 22 wheat is 789, down three and a half. Crude oil is 7010 down 96 cents. Heating oil is 220 and a half down two and three quarter cents. Gasoline is 209 down two and three quarter cents. And natural gas is 361 and three quarters down five and a half cents. US dollar and gets you $1.2852 at the border with Canada. That's up 48 ticks. The yen is at 113.69 up 13 ticks. The euro is at 112.70 down 13 ticks. The dollar's at 96.47, up 15 ticks. Gold's at 17.72.60, down 13.70 an ounce. Silver's at 21.89, down 43 and a half cents. Platinum's at 9.09.40, that's down 15 dollars and 20 cents. Wow, all-time record high, huh? Let that sink in. Mm. Mm-hmm. I wonder what they do for an encore. Yeah, well. 22 could be interesting. Very, Mm -hmm. very interesting. (laughs) Doug, you take care. Have a good one. All right. Doug Klein over at Oppenheimer. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at Hillishog. Hey, they exceed the Michigan sugar seed approval criteria and leave nothing unmet. Unlike some companies that fall short of criteria and need special approval, promising high yield but lacking other key traits, Hillishog brings a balance for Michigan's tough conditions and will always pack a load sugar at every beat. Hillishog, the heartbeat of sweet. When we return, Jerry Samalski will be joining us. But first, this. Thumb Bank and Trust offers community farmers the welcome opportunity of working with people who understand the unique needs and challenges of farming. I'm Jared Fisher. Ag Specialist for Thumb Bank and Trust, and I'm also a proud farmer. All of our agricultural loan experts are working farmers, and that's just part of why Thumb Bank and Trust has been recognized as one of Michigan's premier agricultural lenders. It takes a farmer to understand the unique needs and challenges of another farmer. 
and it takes the lending capital available at Thumb Bank and Trust to grow a farm. Call us today or visit us at thumb.bank. We will meet you at one of our offices in the field or at the farm. At Thumb Bank and Trust, our relationships are built on trust. We're an old friend you can rely on. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. An equal opportunity lender and member FDIC. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at Ed Raymond and Sons. Quality clothing and shoes since 1919. Carhartt, Red Wing shoes and boots, Stormy Cromer accessories, all available right now for Christmas giving from Ed Raymond and Sons. Celebrating more than 100 years at 151 West Broad Street in Chesney. They are open seven days. And by quality roasting of Reese, purchasing local soybeans, processing local beans, and marketing local Exceller Meal, which is a high-bypass soybean meal for your dairy herd. They've been doing that since 1991. Quality Roasting of Reese offering competitive, consistent prices for your soybeans. Call them for a quote today. We say good morning to Jerry Samalski up at Bay Landscaping and Garden Center in Essexville. Jerry, uh, is, is it still, uh, uh, what, early spring right now? <laughs> No, Terry, it's uh, it's not. It's uh, just this quirky December weather, of course. But one of the things we want to look out for right now, Terry, and if you've got like fruit trees, and uh, so a fruit tree might be a flowering crab or a weeping cherry or an ornamental cherry of some sort, um, the, they're called voles, a metal vole, not a mole, but a vole with a V. They're little mice that like to chew on trunks of plant material. And those voles are much more uh, abundant when you're near a rural area, a ditch or something of that nature. Uh, or if you have like junipers or some massings of evergreen shrubs that live underneath there. And they'll chew the trunks and girdle the plant on young, tender fruit trees. So I'd suggest if that's the case, if you've got uh, those small uh, fruit trees, or ornamental fruit trees that you're going to want to put some sort of physical barrier, either a wire mesh or a black plastic drain tile that's cut so you can wrap around it and uh, protect those trunks from those feeding critters. Now I have noticed uh, they, they kind of tunnel a little bit. So it actually looks like a mole, but uh, they're uh, it, it, like you say, they're, they're really small. Yeah, they're, they're like house mouse. They're like a house mouse, but they don't really tunnel, Terry. They'll eat through the grass down to the crowns, and usually underneath the snowbank, they'll eat and chew and and go that way. And that's when you'll see them. They don't really burrow into the ground so much, but uh, they will chew the crowns of grass off as well. Yeah. So in the spring, what do you do? Do you rake that dead grass? If it's a lawn, you can just rake it up. The Grass will come back uh, maybe three weeks or so later than the rest of it, but it will come back. But when they girdle a tree and, and uh, chew all the bark all the way around the trunk of a, of a fruit tree, then you're kind of smoked. It's done. You got a mess. Jerry, take care. Yep. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Yes, sir. All right. Jerry Smolski, Bay Landscaping and Garden Center in Essexville. Incidentally, tomorrow... We're going to be out at uh, my sister's barn in the Fairgrove area on North Vassar Road. The reason why, we're going to be learning, just like a lot of farmers, about Simplot Grower Solutions. Mike Day is hosting the event. Uh, featured speakers are going to include a couple of folks from Simplot. Kevin Kern with the Michigan Department of Agriculture will be there. Marty Chilvers will be there as well. He'll talk about all sorts of uh, soil and microbial science type things from Michigan State University. Promises to be a really good event. And for those of you that have not uh, contacted Sarah, might be a really good idea still to give her a call. Uh, 989-693-6127. Or you can uh, email her at sarah.donovan at simplot. Dot com. Bring your RUP cards tomorrow as well. Again, at My Sister's Barn, the event starts at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Hey, car and truck shoppers. I'm Steve Cook from the Cook GM Superstore in Vassar, and finally, I've got some great news. We actually have inventory. We actually have Chevrolet sitting on our lot. And don't let me exaggerate, by no means are we back to normal. 
Normal would be two or three hundred Chevys and Buicks in stock. I'm talking 25 to 40 today, and that's 25 to 40 that aren't already sold. Now, that might not seem like a lot, but remember, for the past six months, dealers have been lucky to have five or six in stock. At Cook Chevrolet Buick, you'll find Chevy Blazers with zero down starting as low as $256 a month. You'll find Silverado Crew Cab four-wheel drives for an amazing $334 a month. They won't last long. Get out today. That's the Cook GM Superstore and 15 Top of the Hill in Vassar. Payments based on 36-month GM employee and family lease. 10,000 miles per year and includes all rebates. 576 on Blazer, 805 on Silverado. Do it signing. Call toll-free or visit us online at cookchevybuick.com. Chevy, find new roads. Wow, good-looking beats as usual. How are you, Dave? Ah, happy to put another harvest in the books. This is my last load. I am serious. Those look great. Got any trade secrets? Well, the weather held. And of course, I always plant beta seed. Seriously, that's it? Mm -hmm. That's it. We've always gotten vigorous plants and great results. My ISA says they breed the best traits right into the seed. Well, how exactly do they do that? Mm, no idea. I'm just glad they do. Beta seed, breeding confidence. Along with me, Craig Voorhees with the Rummel Agency. Craig, let's talk a little bit about some Christmas gifts. Uh, how about something like jewelry? They're kind of expensive. Right, Terry. Everybody's asking if you got your Christmas shopping done. And for those of us who tend to put it off, we end up in the jewelry store, right? <laughs> That's it. They got, all sort, they got all sorts of stuff to uh, pick from, too. Yeah, and they're happy to sell it for sure. If you're one of those folks like myself and you end up buying something sparkly for Christmas, uh, you know, there is some automatic coverage for jewelry from your home or farm owner's policy. It's not real good coverage and it does have a deductible and it may not cover the piece depending on the value. So if you're out buying that stuff or handing some stuff down to the next generation, maybe some family heirloom stuff, Make sure you're checking with your agent to make sure you've got the best coverage on those pieces. Good tip, especially the uh, handing stuff down. A lot of folks do that, don't they? Yes, and they tend to do it this time of year as Christmas gifts. And it's just when that ownership transfers, you want to make sure the coverage goes with it. All right. Craig Voorhees, thank you. Have a good day, okay? Will do, Terry. Thank you. You bet. Whether your family farm has been passed down through generations or you're just getting started, knowledge and partnership fuel constant growth along the way. As the legacy of your farm strengthens, shared values and a never-ending commitment remain. ECH Seeds is proud to work with you to sustain your continued growth. This partnership, driven by a shared passion that never stops growing, is refined over time and cultivated in common ground. This is Peter Maxwell, your ACH Seeds representative. Our 2022 lineup is better than ever. Crystal Beet Seed varieties offer a full spectrum of defensive traits combined with top performing yield and sugar potential. And speaking of defense, ask me about the new CR Plus trait offered in select crystal varieties. Not only does this offer the potential for less grain, but it also protects yield while doing so. I look forward to hearing from you and working toward continued success. Thanks again for partnering with ACH Seeds. ACH Seeds, good things come from common ground. Let's find out what's going on in New York right now. Steve Anderson from Baird & Company joining me. Steve, what's on the board right now? Well, right now we're looking at red again. Dow Jones Industrial Average is down 128 points, putting it at 35, 522. Volume there is 343 million shares. NASDAQ's down 280 putting it at 15,132 on volume of 420 million shares. And stocks local interest, we've got Caterpillar, $200.97. That's down 30. Deer, 348.31, down 311. CMS is unchanged at 63.74. Dow, 54.14, up 82. DuPont, 77.99, up 36. Corteva, 46.60, down 3. GM, 5787 down 126. Trinzio 5214 up 53. Walmart 14394 up 37. Home Depot 400 dollars and 23 cents. That's down 501. Huntington Bank is 1515 up 23. And AT&T is ahead by 20 cents at 2264. Very good, Steve. We'll see you tomorrow out at uh, my sister's barn. Alrighty. 
Yes, I'll be there. Yeah, ought to be an interesting meeting. And uh, I'm sure a lot of folks will probably have some questions for you, too. <laughs> well, they, they may, but uh, I'll, I'll just be trying hard to keep up with what they're talking about. Those. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, that's a very interesting company, Simplot. I had no yeah. idea what they do. So, uh, Yeah, well, you're going to find out for sure tomorrow. We sure will. Steve Anderson, you take care. Have a good one, all right? I will. You do the same. Bye-bye. I'll do. Steve Anderson over at Baird & Company. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at Steiner Tractor. New parts for old tractors. That's what it's all about. 800-234-3280 or go to steinertractor.com. They have the idea, you know, whatever you need, they've got it at Steiner Tractor Parts. And by Chris Jack's House Family Restaurant. Got an event that you need to supply the food for? 989-894-5531. Crazy Eggs House, they'll take care of it for you. Back at 1230 with an update. Now we conclude our program with a playing of our national anthem. Stone Specialist Studios. This is WSGW Saginaw.